Yeah, wow, we are back. Uh, Abdallah uh, Zirava is my name and I am back here. We, the last time I was here, I was talking about um, Quillbot as a very important tool for writing. Just to recap on uh, what we said, uh, I still emphasize that uh, in this series of these videos where I'm demonstrating how to use writing tools and softwares, I have categorized these tools into four writing and paraphrasing tools, referencing tools, research tools, and grammar checking tools. So today, I would like to look at grammar checking tools. Uh, though many of these tools uh, can do, uh, have many functionalities, like you saw in my previous video when I was demonstrating the Quillbot, it does not only paraphrase, but it also does the grammar checking. But this time around, I would like to focus on um, a very important and uh, common tool uh, known as Grammarly. Uh, Grammarly is a, a most popular editor or editing tool on the internet. And uh, indeed, uh, if you have used it before, or any of those that have used this for their writing as a tool, they will, they will agree with me that it is uh, an excellent tool that we can use for all types of writing. And it helps us to weed out the spelling mistakes so that we can improve on uh, our phrasings and how we are writing. So in this video, I will show you how to use Grammarly across all your apps and devices. Uh, I would like to demonstrate. I will straight away go to a demonstration. Uh, you go to to the to the what to the URL URL uh, address bar and then you put Grammarly.com. Let me just get it from here at the at what at the at at, at Google. So you just write uh, grammarly uh, .com so that uh, you get to the website. Uh, so we are here. So you just type there. I mean, click there and get to the website. Now, to me, it will straight away take me to my account because I already have an account with Grammarly, and I've already worked with uh, one or two, three documents. Uh, so, but if you're a new user, um, it's, perhaps it is your first time uh, uh, working with Grammarly, it means that you will not get at this level. Perhaps you will get at a level where you can sign for free. Uh, or you can then create, sign up for free and you create, a, you create an account for yourself. So I will not log out, I will just uh, continue from here. So we have um, a prompt here that is prompting us to download Grammarly add-in uh, from Office, Microsoft Office. So when it's what you want to do, um, you click here and then you, you download. I don't want to take downloads in this video. Uh, so basically what you do here, uh, Grammarly is, um, has some free basic version uh, usage uh, privileges. Uh, but if you want to do advanced, um, advanced Grammarly um, features and you want to access the advanced Grammarly features, you can basically uh, go to the premium version. I, I, I recommend and request that probably you can use Grammarly for just one month and if it works for you, you continue. If it does not, you you uns as unsubscribe. But even if you don't do use the premium you, uh, version, you can still use the basic uh, tools of, pre of Grammarly for free. So you come here and upload a document. Um, 
you will always see this button and then it takes you to navigate your computer and when you're here you go to your file let me just pick this uh, file which is a file i was working on with the, the student so we can see how we can put it in grammarly so that we can see how we we, we will uh, uh, try to improve the document <coughs> excuse me they're talking about setting goals here uh, maybe the audience the formality if you want to be so formal you set it here or you the domain if it's academic you are working with you set there and if you have set all your goals you set down when you are done of course now it keeps showing you um, aspects that require to improve it is also showing you your performance here you can adjust your goals then you can uh, make some changes here so you see that when you click on it it changes but you really need to read through to make sure that um, uh, you are making a clear uh, correction so the suggestions are here you don't need to scroll through the documents you, when you click on this suggestion they take you directly where the issue is and you have to read through they give you a tip here and say the spelling of acknowledge, acknowledgement is a non-american whatever so for consistency you can replace it with the american english spelling so if you f you think it is uh, okay you change it and uh, you click on it and it will be changed you go here so you read through they say there are some there are some very important people i'd like to appreciate them uh, for all the assistance they have given me so you see that it seems that there is a, a pronoun problem here and uh, once you remove that it improves your sentence so there are some very important people I like to appreciate for all the assistance they have, they have given me so you keep um, checking and they give you um, tips and you change but I advise you not to change just um, anyhow just click and change click and change no you really need to be sure that what you're changing is really exactly uh, perfectly well uh, that is what you require to change because you may uh, edit something and it is something to ignore or it is something uh, it's a word that may has no problem so you really need to check out well on that so once you have checked all the you have over 207 suggestions you now click here and uh, download the document so when you download it it will now be downloaded back to your computer as edited uh, so you will save it with another name because it's already edited and so probably you can say my edited uh, document uh, so that uh, you differentiate it from uh, the original document that was not uh, that had errors grammatical errors before the editing i uh, don't want to make these videos long that is those are simple tips that I, i've shown you on how to use grammarly in my next video i will continue uh, showing you some of the advanced features of grammarly so i'll come back in another video this time round uh, using a premium version so that you see the advanced tools that we can use in grammarly especially for clarity conciseness and many other aspects so these are important tools that uh, all academicians that are writing their assignments their phd thesis masters phd thesis undergraduate uh, thesis and all writing it could be technical writing it can be academic writing 
these are important tools that can help you to write perfectly and also save you from the stress of uh, of, 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 of of working traditionally without uh, these uh, tools. So one would wonder and ask what's the what what is the difference between uh, using uh, Microsoft Word spell checker and Grammarly. Grammarly seems to have um, sophisticated advanced tools that maybe Microsoft Word checker may not give you. It gives you so many alternatives. Uh, so many phrases that you can include in your work. Yeah, thank you so much. If you find this very interesting or relevant to you, I request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can click the notification button and probably share the video for the others to also pick one or two tips on how to use the tools for writing. Thank you so much and uh, see you in my next video.